Hello everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. In this video, I am going to teach you about how to use the VLOOKUP function in your Excel sheet. Most of the time, the people try to use the copy paste copy paste command in the Excel sheet like Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Most of the time it is Ctrl X, Ctrl V. Okay, cut and paste. But you know like uh, to reduce your work in Excel, there is a one function which is called as a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is nothing but the function which is used to just provide a certain combination, certain correlated correlation value in another sheets. Okay, so how to use that VLOOKUP function today I am going to teach you. So let's get started. There is one example I have what I created over here. You can see I have two columns project code and work column. So project code I have different nine combination as I just put on myself like I just created T10, T665, T56 and whatever it is. Okay, in term of works, I just provide the T10 code is nothing but for alignment. The T665, this is for a girder. Okay, so I created this nine different combinations. Now, in my another Excel sheet, you can see this is my book number one Excel sheet. Now, I just want to use this project code, this work in my another Excel sheet. But yes, here what I did in my another Excel sheet, I just rearranged this project code. Okay, so you can see over here. I have the rearrangement of the project code. Okay, my T10 has a bottom, this value is different, another, another, another look, another position. So now I just want to, in the case, if you don't know the VLOOKUP, what you are going to do, you're just taking what is the T10 value here, just place control C and just when you come over here, where is the T10? Here it is. Then you put control V. Okay, this is what I exact process right now. Okay, for you all, which is the, the person who don't know the VLOOKUP, but yes. For them who want to reduce their work, who want to reduce their work time and improve their efficiency, we can use a VLOOKUP. So how you can use it? Just look at it. Just control, uh, just press equals to, okay, and enter VLOOKUP. Okay, so you can see looks for a value in a leftmost column of a table and then return a value in the same row for a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. Okay, so just double click on this value, VLOOKUP. Now, what is a VLOOKUP value? VLOOKUP means you are looking for this all this value, right? So we are providing for this particular value. Just select this value. Okay. Just provide all the function for the same value, one single value and just stretch that particular function for all the value. So my VLOOKUP value for this particular really work is this. Then press comma. Now, what is a table array? Table array is nothing but the where you are looking for that particular value. Here it is that particular value D456. So I'm looking in this table, right? So this is what my table array, right? So just press again comma. Now column index number, column index nothing but for this D46, you are looking in which column, which number of column? I am looking is first and second number of column. So work is in second column. Okay, not don't type B, type 2. Okay. We two is nothing but this column number two. If it this work in column number one, you just write column number one, right? Again, comma. Here you can see true and false. True is nothing but approximate match, and false is nothing but exact match. So you want exact match, right? So just click on false, which is you you gives you the exact match, and just complete the bracket and click the enter. When you click the enter, you can see you got the value range over here, and the function is like this. Okay. And just click stretch this function for a one say whatever the uh, function we provide for this particular value stretch it for a bottom okay so you can see you can you can get all the uh, combination which we provided in our book one value okay you can you get all this value in your book two okay sorry yeah book two now what happened in the case in case just take one uh, another example for changes of the column in the case, I just take control C over here. Okay. And I put this column over here and this work uh, column I shifted. Okay. Let's let's shift me this column to a certain number. So this is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth number. Okay. So I shifted on this sixth number. Now how you can use this column again. Okay. So just go over here. I just delete this. We look up function for this. What we just assign okay so i can just tell you anna again okay so equals to we look we look up okay we are looking for this value comma sorry not 
comma it is okay comma what is my table array my table array is this from this to this okay enter sorry i entered the value wait now comma what is my table array now my tab table array will be this 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of column right so just press the 6 comma false and enter you can see i got the value right so this is way to use so with the help of this whatever a number of work you have okay you can reduce your time by using the vlookup function for a proper match okay so have a nice day guys if you like my video so please don't forget to subscribe okay and have a nice day bye bye